Are you having trouble finding good skincare products that will treat your acne, dark spots, and overall skin irritation? And are you overwhelmed with the myriad of amounts of products to actually choose from and don't know which ones will actually work or which ones won't? If that sounds like you and the situation that you're currently in, continue watching this video all the way towards the end because I will give you the products that I use that I found beneficial for me. In this video, I'm going to go over the only four products that you absolutely need for whenever you encounter the inevitable acne or skin irritation. Each of these four products will tackle individually specific stages that an acne and pimple goes through. And then I'll also throw in a fifth bonus product that you absolutely need, but everyone tends to overlook. So stay tuned for that one as well. What's up everybody? My name is John. I'm a washed up TikTok star who only used to be kind of famous because of his twin brother. But now I make videos on YouTube about healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence and level up. So if that kind of stuff interests you, definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. So just getting straight into the video, the first of the four essential products that you absolutely need to control your acne and skin irritation is the Neutrogena Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. To be clear, there are two different versions of this product out there. There is one with a more lower concentration of benzoyl peroxide with 2.5%, but the one that I specifically use is the maximum strength version and it has 10% benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is one of the strongest ingredients out there along with salicylic acid when it comes to actually clearing up the acne because it penetrates deep into the skin to kill the bacteria. But because benzoyl peroxide is such a strong ingredient, there has to be different dosages to accommodate for the different skin types out there. Benzoyl peroxide can be a bit drying for some of the skin types, but for me, I don't really have that problem. So I just went for the maximum strength so I can get the most benefit. All right, so for this product, you're gonna wanna use it when it's at its first stage of becoming a pimple. So I don't know if there are already specific acne stages that are established in the skincare world, but if not, I kinda just came to this conclusion myself. And that conclusion is that there are three stages when it comes to acne. First stage is when a pimple is emerging, but it hasn't reached the surface yet. Second stage is when the pimple actually reaches the surface and turns into a white or black head. Third and final stage is when the pimple is actually healed but has left a dark spot in its place. Going back to the Neutrogena Spot Gel, the first stage is when you're going to want to use this product. So like I said about the first stage is when it's coming up to the surface but it hasn't actually reached it yet. You can actually feel a little bump and see a little bit of redness from where the pimple is going to emerge. Put a little bit of spot gel on top of it and then that will reduce the redness and reduce the size of it. Sometimes I've used this product and it stopped the pimple from reaching the surface at all. And to be frank, it doesn't actually stop all of the pimples, but it does definitely reduce the size and redness so that it'll be less mess to clean up when the damage is all done. It definitely depends on the size and girth of the pimple. So if you have a big pimple, it won't actually stop it. It'll just reduce the severity. But if you were to use this on a smaller pimple, then that's when I noticed it actually does stop the pimple in its tracks. Either way, it's still a good product to have around to actually treat the acne whenever it does emerge. Now it's called the spot gel, although it's a white paste. It's called a spot gel for a reason. Don't go rubbing it all over your face because if you do, that'll really dry up your skin, especially if you're using the maximum strength. Just squeeze a little bit on your fingertip or what I like to use is Q-tips because it's easier to pinpoint and then just gently dab it on the surface of the pimple. After you've dabbed it in, let it sit and dry for a few minutes and then it'll actually harden and kind of seal like a band-aid so that no bacteria can get in. Just keep repeating that process as often as you'd like to reduce the size and redness until it's completely healed. By the way, I already did a whole video on this and all the other products that I'm about to mention in this video. In case you do have all these products but you're still confused on what certain products to use first, I made a little walkthrough already right here, so definitely go check that video out once you're done with this. So like I said earlier, sometimes this is the only product you need and you can stop right there. But more often than not, you're going to need more reinforcements. And then when it goes to the second stage, you're going to need the Mighty Pimple Patches by Hero. So there are also different versions of this product as well, but the ones that I use and the only one that you actually need, to be honest, is the original patches with the orange color. And once you reach that god awful second stage of the pimple that's bright and white and ready to pop, these will save your life. All you pretty much gotta do with these is just get one of the patches, place it on the white head, and let it sit for six to eight hours, typically overnight, and it will suck out majority of the pus, if not all of it. I definitely recommend that everyone should have this in their bathroom cabinet because whenever you do occasionally encounter that big blemishing whitehead, this deters you from actually popping the pimple and creating acne scars and just more skin irritation. Using the pimple patches are not as satisfying or as fast at extracting the pus as opposed to popping the pimple, but using pimple patches is a much safer process for your skin. The third and final stage, you have a healed pimple that's already gone, but now it's left a dark spot. And in that case, you'd want to use tranexamic acid by the Inky List. I actually don't have it on hand with me right now, but this is a very good product for actually clearing up the dark spots and hyperpigmentation 
from the acne that was there previously. I personally don't use this product every single time I want to clear up my dark spots because I'm already using a retinoid every night and that already helps clear up the hyperpigmentation alone. But if you want to accelerate clearing up the hyperpigmentation even faster, you could definitely pair it up with the tranexamic acid. Ideally, you'd want to apply this every night before bed, but you can use it during the daytime if you want to. Just make sure you have SPF protection or sunscreen on. Moving on to the fourth product you absolutely need when it comes to fighting acne and skin irritation is the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast Balm B5. I've already covered all three individual products that tackle each specific stage of the acne process, but this one you're gonna wanna use it as a moisturizer whenever you have severe dryness or skin irritation. So let's say maybe you're trying out a new product for the first time, but it irritated your skin. Just apply this onto the damaged skin area and it will soothe and repair the skin barrier. This is not a specific acne product, but in case you do encounter skin irritation, redness or dryness, this is a product you definitely want to use. It's just vastly more hydrating than your standard moisturizer. It's not necessarily a moisturizer, but more of a skin barrier repair. Those were the four products you absolutely need to treat your acne and skin irritation. Now the fifth bonus product you absolutely need in your arsenal is actually two products. It is these two right here. The first is the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser and then the other is just the Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream. So a good facial cleanser and moisturizer are the fundamentals of skincare. These two products are the absolute basic when it comes to ingredient lists because they're so short, so they have less potential irritants. They're just overall safe for any skin type. So like the example I gave earlier, in case you try out a new skincare product, but it turns out that your skin was not so fond of it and it irritated your skin. Sometimes in those situations, your current face cleanser and face moisturizer might be too potent for your skin. When you start using your normal products that you usually use, it'll start stinging or burning and making your skin more red because your skin is just so damaged. And if you ever find yourself in that situation, the best thing you can honestly do is use the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser and Vanny Cream Moisturizer. These products are actually advertised for sensitive skin. And don't think that just because it's a gentle facial cleanser, it won't actually cleanse your skin because at least in my case, the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser is more effective at cleansing than most of the skincare facial cleansers that I actually tried. I do use the Vanny Cream Moisturizing Cream only every now and then, occasionally whenever I do encounter some skin irritation. But for the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser, this is a product that I absolutely love and I use every single night. I actually did a full review on the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser in this video right here. So definitely go check that one out if you haven't already. Yeah, these two products are absolutely essential to have in your arsenal, along with the four products that I mentioned earlier to properly treat your acne, pimples, and skin irritation. All right, so those were all the products you absolutely need in order to take care of your acne and skin irritation. But just to go over it one more time, you're gonna need the Neutrogena Stubborn Acne Spot Gel for the first stage, the Mighty Pimple Patches for the second stage, Tranexamic Acid for the third stage, then the La Roche Posay Cicoplast Balm B5 to treat any dryness, redness, itchiness, and just overall repair the barrier. Along with the two bonus products with the Bandit Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser and Moisturizing Cream that will also help with skin irritation as well. So that was all I had for this video. I hope you learned something of value today. I hope you learned something from my mistakes to better yourself. And until then, I will see you in the next one.